it came down to choosing a school, Texas A&M gave me something that the other schools didn't, the chance to complete that goal of not allowing my parents to have to pay for my school because of the generosity of the former students. It's an honor to host mustard. And there's something I'm supposed to do as an Aggie. The size of the mustard is not important. The spirit that brings Aggies together this one night of the year is a vital element. On this flight, we're gonna have a brief ceremony once we're in the sky. Um, it's called Aggie Muster. Softly call the muster. Let Conrad answer here. Donald John Ranley Jr., class of 1957. Here. Here. Ernest Bartlett Reed, class of 1957. Here. Here. John Riley Sandhop, class of 1957. Here. The fact that the Association of Former Students is so committed to recognizing excellence on teaching really demonstrates the value that Texas A&M places on educating students and the success that that brings. I would absolutely thank the Association for all the support they've already given, the individuals that get into our field. They just really care about making a difference in people's lives and it's truly happening. You've given to an endowment that will forever give on Erin's behalf and she will be able to live longer than the rest of us. Texas A&M University and the Aggie Network and the Association of Former Students has literally stepped up above and beyond and helped us through this time of loss where we wouldn't be where we are today had it not been for that support. On behalf of the Beaumont a and Club, I wanted to express how very sorry we are that you were so severely affected by the tragic floods of Hurricane Harvey. In true Aggie fashion, the Association of Former Students responded to this tragedy by setting up the Harvey Relief Fund. We Aggies always take care of each other when and where we can. That's what being an Aggie is all about and what makes Texas A&M stand out from the rest.